everyone, and welcome to the Horseman Weekly Update, where each week our news team will catch you up on all of the latest news happening at Horseman Elementary. I'm your host, Addison. First up, let's go to Paisley to see what, what happened in sports this week. Congratulations to the Indiana fifth grade girls basketball team on their second place finish in the championship tournament at Penn State last weekend. Great job. TAI cheerleaders, including several horseman students, shined at their competition in Pittsburgh, finishing third place overall and capturing the best stunt award. Way to go, girls. High school swimmers competed against other top swimmers from across Pennsylvania at the state finals at Bucknell University. Preston Kessler took the podium again with a first place win in the 200 meter freestyle. He also was named swimmer of the meet. Peyton Scott also stepped up and took second place medal for the 100 meter breaststroke. What an amazing season they've had. Back to you. Now for a review of the news. Here's Alex and Elena. Music students stepped onto the stage Wednesday evening for the first time since the COVID shutdown two years ago. Students worked hard to make this performance a true success. We talked with Mr. Saylor about this exciting night. How did it feel to step in front of the students and their families for the first time in so long? Mm. Well, when it comes to making music, there's lots of ways to do it. And in the past couple of years, we've made music a lot with technology and recording music and being able to listen to it after the fact. And as important as that is, uh, live performance of music is like insanely important to a musician, right? And so, yeah, last night was the first time in two years, in over two years, since December of 2019, that we've been able to get in front of a live group of folks and make some music. So it was awesome and uh, really important that, that we uh, let the students take that step. What is something you thought went particularly well? Mm. You know, one of the curveballs on those nights is that, especially for students who've never been in a concert before, um, it's obviously really exciting and it's easy to let the nerves and the excitement get to you. And a lot of times some students end up making decisions that are a little too goofy for a performing event. But I thought all of the students were uh, exercising all of their RCR responsibilities uh, incredibly well. Do you have any words for the students who performed last night? Yeah, uh, it was the first time, but it won't be the last time. So let's get at it again. We've got another concert in May and we can't wait. Thank you, Mr. Saylor, for the Horseman Weekly Update. I'm Alex. Thank you. On Monday, Mr. Edmondson reviewed RCR for the bust with all Horseman students. Please remember to always do your best to make the ride to school pleasant and safe for the students and the drivers. It is our job to make sure we are stu we are respectful, compassionate, and responsible on the bus. We tried to reach Mr. Edmondson, but he was unavailable for the comment as he was in a bit of a rush to leave. Oh, time to go home! Woohoo! Time to go home! Woohoo! Now back to the studio. Thank you. Now for Braylon with an update on the weather. It looks like we'll be facing mostly clouds and rain showers with cooler temperatures over the next few days. Highs will be in the upper 30s and low 40s. Look for periods of sunshine on Sunday to round out our three-day weekend. Looking ahead to next week, will snow return to our area? We'll let you know next time. Remember, there is no school tomorrow, Friday, March 25th. That's all for now. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week.